हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डे 52 ऑफ द 100 डेज ऑफ हेल विद पाइथन अलगो ट्रेडिंग इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द पैरिटी ग्राफ्स एंड द स्लोप्स इन दिस सेशन वी लर्न मोर अबाउट द स्लोप्स एंड द पैरिटी ग्राफ्स एंड वी विल आल्सो लर्न दैट व्हाई एवरीवन सेज दैट द ऑप्शन सेलर हैज द कैप प्रॉफिट एंड अनलिमिटेड लॉसेस एंड आई कैन प्रॉमिस दैट आफ्टर दिस सेशन एवरीथिंग विल बी क्रिस्टल क्लियर सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so to understand this concept first we will understand the payoff chart of a simple stock like it can be a commodity it can be a stock it can be a cryptocurrency it can be anything it will be simple buy and sell without the options right so let's first understand the payoff chart for that stock so let's say we have a stock and that is apple so now you have two options you can either go on a long trade or you can go on a short trade if you go on a long trade then you will be have benefit if the price of the stock goes up right if you go on the short trade then you will be have the benefit when the price of the stock goes down right hopefully it is very clear right so let's take an example and let's say the current price of apple stock is 100 dollars and you go on a long trade so i'll draw a chart here right this is the price on x it is price on y it is pnl right okay now let's say the current price is 100 uh, apple and you buy this stock at this and you are going on a long trade so if the price of this stock now increases then only you will be having the benefit if the price decreases then you will be loss so i can draw like this so we can say this is a linear graph similarly for the short trade what happens let's say you have uh, this trade and you are going on a short trade and similarly the current price is 100 dollars so if you go on a short trade means if the price of the stock decreases then only you will be having the benefit so you will be in green if the price of stock decreases correct and if the price of stock increases then you will be in loss so from here you will be in the loss so these are the basic charts and we can say these are linear graphs right and the slope of this is always positive let's say plus 1 and the slope of this short is always negative correct why because we know that slope is equals to rise over run not run sorry make it run right so it will be always positive and it will be always negative right so up to here you can say that when you bet on the increase of the price it is a long and when you bet on the decrease of the price it is a short right okay now let's move to the options so we have understood multiple times that in option we have two characters and what are those two characters one is the option buyer and another is option seller right so i just write it option buyer and option seller right now what they can do we know that in option we have a call option and in the put option if the price decreases you will be in the benefit right so let me write here call and put right so a buyer also can buy the call option or sell the call option so let me write here buy the call option and buy the put option similarly for seller he can also sell the call option or sell the put option to try to understand i know this is very basic but please try to visualize everything and you will be having a good clarity now to buy these put and call option you have to pay a premium similarly if you are selling these call and put options right you are receiving a premium so means we can say that at the initial stage of the options buying and selling the buyer is always in the loss and how much the premium amount he paid and the seller is always in the profit how much the premium amount he received right now let's try to understand the limits that how much a buyer can earn the limit and how much a seller can earn and what is the potential limit of the losses and what is the potential limit of the gains for both the buyer and seller and after this session you will gain a more clarity that why you should 
go for the option buying and why you should go for the option selling and it's completely up to you whatever suits you you should be going with that and for that you should be having a crystal clarity right yeah one more thing so whenever we buy something you can also say i will long the call or long the put that is exactly same like calling i am buying a call or i am buying a put similarly for selling it is equal to the short either say i am selling a call or i am selling a put or that is exactly same like saying i am shorting a call or i am shorting a put right hopefully up to this point everything is clear now let's move to the payoff charts and the slopes which is really very very important and really very easy right so let's talk about the payoff charts and the unlimited losses and the unlimited profits okay so we have seen that we have the two characters one is the buyer of the option and one is the seller of the options buyers and sellers correct and now what they will buy and sell they will always buy the call option or put option or sell the put option or the call option so let's say if the buyer goes and buy a call option means he will pay a premium so let's try to draw that so if the buyer goes and he buy a call option a call option means he will only be in benefit if the price increases so let's say he bought a call option and he paid a premium of 10 dollars means immediately he is in negative and that 10 dollar goes to the seller right so i'll draw here that 10 dollar goes to the seller try to understand this is very basic but very very important he bought the call option means he is in negative he sold the call option so he is in positive we are talking about the call option here right let me write here the call option he bought and he sold right means it is coming from the seller and going to the buyer and then he is giving the premium of 10 which is going to the seller okay now let's say the strike price we consider is 100 here right so i'll write here 100 here also 100 if the price remains below the 100 the buyer will be in loss correct up to this point he will be in loss and exactly at the strike price he will be in break even break even means no profit no loss right similarly when we talk about the seller up to the strike price he will be in profit so now we can conclude few things here so we can say the loss of the buyer loss is capped of buyer right similarly here we can say the profit of the seller is capped profit is capped means we can say limited loss of the option buyer and limited profit of the option seller right up to this point it should be very clear now so if the underlying price is now increasing then we can say the profit of the option buyer is unlimited on papers for now right so we can say profit is unlimited of for the option buyers and here when the underlying price is increasing the loss of the option seller starts decreasing and that, that and there is no limit so we can say loss of option seller is unlimited okay so this was the case for the call option only now let's talk about the put option please let me know if you want this pdf i'll post this pdf in the telegram group and you can uh, download from there and also you should be referring the book so if you haven't bought the book uh, yet please buy the book and read it or listen this if this is audio book right so now let's talk about the put option so similarly i'll write here put option so similarly the put option will be sold from the option seller and it will be bought from the option buyer right let's move a little bit above and let's see so if the buyer is buying the put option he is giving a premium and if the seller is selling the option he is receiving a premium so let me write it here that the premium is going from here to here to the option seller so let's say it is minus 10 from the option buyer to plus 10 for the option seller so we can also conclude that 
at the initial stage, the option buyer, whether it's call option or put option, the option buyer is in loss of $10, which is the premium and that is capped. And at the initial stage, the put option seller is in profit that is plus 10 and that is capped. So let me again draw the charts for this. So when for the option buyer, he is in loss at the initial stage and and for the option seller, he is in profit at the initial stage. That is $10 and that is the premium amount, right? Now, in put option, we are betting that if the price decreases, we will be in benefit. And who will be in benefit? The put option buyer will be in benefit if the price of the underlying decreases. While the put option seller will be in negative if the price of the stock is decreasing. Now, let's understand that. So, let's say this is the strike price, which is 100. This also strike price, which is 100. So if you bought here, and if the price is decreasing, then you will be in benefit. And below this, you will be in a capped loss, which is the premium loss for the option buyer. Similarly, when we talk about the option seller, if the price is decreasing, then he is in loss. He is going in the loss. And if the price is increasing, then he will be in the capped profit of plus 10 like this. Hopefully now it is very clear. I tried my best to make you understand this concept. Now let's talk about the slopes. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you what is slope. So when we talk about the slope, so let's say it is a graph. What is slope? Slope is, slope is this. This one is the slope, this one. We need to find this one. So to find this, what we can do, we can say this is rise and this is run, right? I don't know why I always write run instead of run. So if I write the formula of slope, it will be rise over run, right? Or we can say it is hypotenuse, right? So hypotenuse equals to perpendicular upon base. So now when we see in this particular uh, example, here this quadrant is positive. Let me draw it like this. So we know that this is also positive. This is also positive, right? These both are positive. So we can say if you take the unit price, so let's say the rise over run will be plus one upon plus one means the slope is positive plus one for this quadrant. Let's give it the name plus let's give it the name one and rise also positive and run also positive. When we talk about this quadrant, now what is happening here? Let's give it the name second. Here we know that the rise, the rise is negative, right? So I will draw it like this negative, but the run is still positive. So I can write like the rise is negative, but the run is positive. So the slope will be negative one upon positive one, which is equals to negative one, correct? So this one is the slope of this. This one is the slope of the second quadrant. Now, when we talk about the third quadrant, which is this one here, both rise and run is negative. So I can write like in third quadrant, both negative. And when we talk about the rise over run, it will be negative one over negative one, which will be positive one. So means we can say that in third quadrant, we have the positive slope. And when we talk about the last quadrant, this one here, here we know that the run is negative, but the rise is positive. So I can write like in the fourth quadrant, the rise is positive, but the run is negative. So the slope will be positive one over negative one, which is negative one. Means if you are able to relate these with the above diagrams, these are these four diagrams. What are these? Let me show you. If you see, this is somewhat like the first quadrant, right? Means this one and the slope will be positive, right? And when we talk about the slope in terms of this uh, options, what it will be the slope. Okay, so we have seen that this y axis is the change in position and the x is the change in underlying price. So we can write like slope is equals to change in position, change in position uh, value you can say over the change in underlying price, right? So when I write that this first chart is for the long call, which is with the slope of positive or for unit you can say positive one the second this one is for the short call 
because sellers so this is this is short call which is negative right this is positive and this is negative third is long put which is with the slope positive one and the fourth is short put which is with the slope negative one right hopefully uh, you are able to understand with this picture this quadrant picture and these are nothing but these diagrams and i have also explained the capped profit capped loss unlimited profit and unlimited loss so now it's completely up to you you study it you research it and you see that in which strategy is best to you and which gives you the most profit so this was it for this video i will see you in the next video until then please keep revising these old basic topics because in the upcoming sessions we will move to the more advanced part keep putting the more efforts than required and i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day